Hi there, everybody. This is Harry, and welcome to the Advanced English Lessons with me, with Harry. That's me, yeah? Okay, and before we get into the lesson, just let me say that you can listen to me on my podcast, and you can download the podcast on any podcast app. And indeed, you can also watch me on the video channel on YouTube, but remember to subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you or any of your friends, colleagues or family members would like to have one-to-one -one lessons, we have lots and lots of teachers waiting there to help you prepare for that English exam, improve your conversational English or business English, whatever it might be, we can help you. So you just have to write to me at www.englishlessonviaskype.com and we'll arrange for you to have a trial lesson with me. Okay, so what are we going to talk about in this particular lesson? Well, here we're going to have a look at expressions with look, okay? Expressions with look. So I've got about 10 of these for you, okay? I'll give them to you one by one, as I always do, and then I'll go back and I'll give you some examples, and hopefully you'll be able to practice and you'll be able to use them in the future. You won't remember all of them, but you'll remember some if you put them into practice, one or two each week, and then you'll build it up. Okay, so here we go, 10. Take or have a look, usually at something. To look your best. Look the worse for wear, the worse for wear. By the look of it. Looks like it, to me. Look on the bright side, as there's a song, always look on the bright side of life. To do, to do, to do, to do, to do. Yeah. Uh, Look down your nose at somebody or something. Look before you leap. Look before you leap. Look no further. Look no further. And then finally, look somebody up and down. Look somebody up and down. Okay, let's go through them one by one. Number one, take or have a look. Well, when we take or have a look at something, we scrutinize it, okay? We, we look at it in some detail. Would you take a look at that, please? Meaning, will you read the document or tell me what you think or give me your answer or give me your views or your your helpful uh, suggestions, whatever it might be. Could you take a look at that? Can you have a look at that? Now, you might go into a repair shop with your mobile phone or some gadget that's broken and you, you want the guy, could you have a look at that, please? It's not working. I don't know. I can't seem to get any charge in the battery or it doesn't hold the charge. There's something wrong with it. Or could you look at my hard drive? There seems to be a problem. I've got a, a blank screen. So to take a look or have a look. Now, you can also say it in a sort of a, an exclamation. Wow, would you take a look at that? So you're really surprised. Oh, look, have a look at that. Have you ever seen anything so amazing? Yeah, so to take a look or have a look in a very simple way or put a little bit of intonation into it with an element of surprise. Oh, take a look at that. Okay, now next, to look your best. Well, you always want to look your best for certain occasions. You're going for the job interview. You want to look your best. Or somebody might say to you, oh, what's wrong up with you? You look a little bit off color today. You don't look your best. So there's something wrong. You might have a pale complexion, a little yellowy, a little jaundiced, or you might just feel a little bit under the weather. But if you're going for the job interview, you want to look your best. If you're getting married, you certainly want to look your best. Yeah, if you're going to meet the future mother-in-law, you better look your best. Okay, so to look your best means to look good, as good as you possibly can be. Okay, all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, everything clean and dry behind the ears. Okay, so to look your best. Now, the opposite, to look the worse for wear usually happens when you've had a few beers more than you should have had, the couple of glasses of wine uh, after the meal that went on and on. And the next day, you look in the mirror and go, oh my God, what happened? I look the worse for wear. It literally means I don't look so good. Yeah? Or perhaps something bad happened. You might have been mugged in the street. I was using that word with some students in the last few days, talking about different 
crimes and the criminals and the word mugged came up and a lot of them didn't understand what it meant. So if somebody jumps you in the street, then you're going to be mugged. They take your car keys or your phone or your wallet or whatever you have that they can turn into cash. So you get mugged. So if they, if they hit you, unfortunately, you get home and you're white with fear or shock or maybe you've bumped your head or scratched your face and say, wow, you look the worst for wear. What happened to you? It looks as if you've been in a fight with a Rottweiler. No, no, I got mugged on the way home. Yeah, So to look the worst for wear. By the look of it, well, we use this expression when we are not sure, but we want to express our opinion about something. If somebody asks for the opinion, you say, well, what do you make of that? Well, by the look of it, it looks like it's a contract, but we didn't ask them to send us a contract. Mm. What's that? Well, by the look of it, it looks as if your hard drive is broken. There's nothing happening to the, the laptop. It's dead. Okay. What about the, well, by the look of it, it looks like your water in your aquarium has been poisoned. All the fish have been starved of oxygen and they look like as if they're dead. So I think you need to clean the aquarium out. So by the look of it, when you're giving your opinion, yeah, you're looking at something, perhaps you know more about it than the other person does. So you're giving them some helpful advice by the look of it. Hmm? So if you look out the, the window, the clouds are really dark. Hmm. By the look of it, it's going to rain and probably rain in the next few minutes. So I think I better go now while the, the going is good, while I've got the opportunity. So by the look of it, it's going to rain or snow or there's some storm coming. Looks like it. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? I think it's the order. I think it's it's on its way back to us. This, this seems to, there must have been a problem with the delivery. Yeah, looks like it to me. So you're agreeing with the person. Yeah, so they tell you something. You take a quick look. And based on what they've said and what you can see, you have to agree. Yeah, it looks like it to me. Mm -hmm. Did you see the notice on the, the window in that uh, Italian restaurant? Uh, I think it's going to close. Yeah, it looks like it. I, I heard rumors that they're having trouble in terms of finance. It's very difficult to run a restaurant these days, particularly if it's out of the center of town. So yeah, it looks like it's going to close. So again, you're agreeing with the other person in terms of their view or their opinion, something that they've seen or heard in relation, in this case, to the Chinese or Italian restaurant in the, the, the village. Okay, so it looks like it. So it might not be true, of course, but all the information would suggest that it is going to happen. So, yeah, it looks like it. Look on the bright side. Well, we always try to encourage people to look on the bright side. And I said at the beginning, there's a, a song from the, uh, I think it's from Monty Python. Always look on the bright side of life. Do do, do do. To do, to do, to do. Yeah, so when you look on the bright side of things, things may not be as bad as you think they are. Okay, so if you always look on the negative side, well, of course, things will always be negative. They will always be bad. So if you can and you want to think, make things look a little better, perhaps occasionally it would be a good idea, unless you're an eternal pessimist, that you should try and look on the bright side of life. Yeah. You don't have to say to do, 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 but look on the bright side. Well, take this, you've, you're going to lose your job. The company is moving out of the, the town. Well, look on the bright side. You've been wanting to take uh, six months or 12 months off for a long time. You said you needed a rest. Perhaps you'll get another job or you'll get an opportunity to finish that course or to finish the decorating or to finish building the car. Look on the bright side. There's an opportunity. Yeah. Okay. Or if you have to, you injure yourself when you're out running, uh, trying to prepare for that marathon. Well, look, look on the bright side. You can always do it next year. Yeah, get yourself fit. What had happened if you were running in the marathon and you you damaged your ankle? You're going, you're never going to recover from that. So at least you can stop now, get fit, and you'll still be young enough to complete the marathon next year. So look on the bright side. Don't look at all the negatives try occasionally to take some positives from it, even some bad news. Look on the bright side. Next, to look down your nose at somebody or to look down your nose at something. Well, this is when somebody's been a little bit snobbish. You know, literally, they look down their nose and, ooh, what's that or who's that? Yeah, so people who think they're a bit better than the rest of us, people who think they're a bit higher or more important than the rest of us, they look down their noses at people. 
Okay, so it could be somebody who's very wealthy, looking down their nose, hopefully not, at poor people. It could be somebody who's offered some very ordinary food when they go to visit somebody said, Ooh, I don't think I can eat that. So they look down their nose at some eh, perhaps basic, but very edible and very tasty food. Yeah. So when you look down your nose at something or when you look down your nose at somebody, you treat them with a little bit of disdain. You treat them as if they are not as good as you and you're not really so interested. So be really, really careful how you treat people. Okay, so to look down your nose at somebody or indeed something. Next, to look before you leap. Well, this is a very well-used expression. Literally what it means, if there's a wall, you shouldn't jump over it before you look on the other side to see what's on the other side, because there might be a very steep fall. And if you jump over the wall without looking, oh, crack, broken leg, broken ankle, or even worse. So look before you jump over that wall. Look before you leap to leap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, that's the literal meaning of it. To look before you leap is to be careful and to see what dangers lie ahead before you make any decisions. Perhaps you're going to leave the job because you've had a row with your boss and you just suddenly decide, right, that's it, I'm gone. It might be better to look before you leap in the sense of what's out there. Are there other jobs available for you, for your skills at this time in the economy? If there's you know, rising inflation, whatever it might be, it might not be the best time to change. OK, so look before you leap. So before you take any sudden action, you should always look at what the outcome is likely to be so that you don't end up falling on the other side and literally or metaphorically breaking that anchor. So you want to make sure that you're going to land and land softly and gently without a lot of pain. So look before you leap. It might be when you're planning or you'd like to move out of home where you're living with your parents and buy your own apartment and your friends say, oh, well, you know, the houses, the cost of a property here is ridiculous. I mean, you're going to need 60 or 70,000 euro just for the deposit. And then on top of that, you're going to have to take out a loan for 25 or 30 years. And on top of that, again, interest rates are on the way up. Oh, I don't think I'll do it yet. I think I'll wait. So look before you leave. Don't place your deposit on that house. Don't make that decision to leave home until you're absolutely certain that that's what you want to do. Look before you leap. Look no further. Okay, so you look when we use the expression look no further, it means you don't have to go any further. The solution is right here. Okay, so somebody wants somebody to volunteer to do some work or they want somebody to drive their car. Look no further. I'm your man. I can do it. Yeah, okay. You don't have to look any further. I'm, I'm the answer to your problem. So the boss thinking of employing a new sales guy. They want somebody to go and develop a new market somewhere. And you say, look, I'll do it. Look no further than me. I really want an opportunity. I think I'll be great in sales. Look no further means you don't have to go beyond me. Okay. In other ways, you might say, well, you don't have to look any further than, you know, the people in the, the city center. You can see the way they're dressed, that the economy isn't so good. So just look around you, look at the shops, they are a little bit worn. Look at the clothes people are wearing, they're not the best. You know, look in the newspapers, you don't have to look any further than those to give your, yourself a, a good understanding as to what's happening in the economy in this particular area. So look no further than the end of your nose. Okay, so you can, if you don't look any further than the end of your nose, perhaps the answer is right in front of you. Okay, look no further. Okay, and then finally, the last one is to look someone up and down. Look someone up and down. So when we do that, we are trying to get a really good impression, a good look at somebody, and it can appear to be a little bit rude. Hm, who are you? Oh, I'm the new guy. I'm, 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 I'm starting today. Oh, okay. Well, you better report to the reception. Okay, so you look somebody up and down and you make or you try to make a quick impression or of what the person is like. So you look them up and down. You can look at the menu up and down to see, do you fancy something on the menu? Okay, so not only can you look somebody up and down, but you can also look something like the menu up 
and down. So you're really scrutinizing it. You're really looking at it hard to find any fault, to find something that you like, or to get a second opinion. So you look the person up and down. And maybe you might not like them based on your looks, which is very dangerous. Or maybe you will like what you see based on your your first look. So first impressions are always good. Okay, look them up and down. Okay, so let me give you those expressions to do with look again. Take or have a look at something or someone. To look your best. To look the worst for wear after a very heavy night out on the tiles, as we say. By the look of it. Looks like it. Look on the bright side. Always look on the bright side. Look down your nose at somebody or something. Look before you leap. Be very careful. Look before you leap. Look no further. Look no further than me. Look somebody up and down, up and down. Okay, so expressions with look. So as I always say, you probably won't remember them all, but try to practice uh, one or two of them every week just to get an understanding, put them into your speech, practice writing them, and gradually you get the hang of it. If you don't understand them, well, of course, come back to me at www.englishlessonviaskype.com and I'll happily give you some more examples. As always, I appreciate you watching and listening. Join me again soon.